Hello, Evan Man here. Doesn't that look nice on the outside of the house? Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to install this here. Uh, we're going to put another one on the front of my house. I just happened to be at the hardware store. I've been looking to install a couple more exterior outlets on the side of my house here. And I came across these, Evan. They're essentially uh, like a recessed box inside the wall here. Uh, one caveat I want to make with this, Evan, this does involve cutting into your uh, house, into the interior part of the house with this. Uh, in my case, Evan, I'm going to have this spray foam, so it doesn't uh, super matter, but uh, just something you might want to keep in mind. I had four tools here, Devin. We're going to be installing this in vinyl siding here, by the way, and behind the vinyl siding is wood siding, so just FYI on that one. Uh, first off, Evan, we need an outlet. Uh, first thing you may notice with that as well is this not, is not a GFCI outlet. Uh, I have GFCI protection further on down the line, so just FYI on that one. I uh, need something to cut with that one. My weapon of choice in this case is the oscillating tool. Uh, we got something to cut the wire with. Also a couple screwdrivers for uh, attaching the uh, outlet. Hammer for uh, if we need some nails in the siding. Speaking of siding, we also got the uh, side swiper tool here. If you're working with siding that one, definitely need one of those. They're only a couple dollars, nothing to it. Pencil for marking with. And then a couple impacts, both Phillips and Torx. Uh, again, depending on what we're going to need for screws. Okay, well, on the side of the house here, this is where we're going to be uh, putting the uh, new electrical box. I've already actually got a hole drilled out to here. Uh, the reason I did that, I, mean, I need to know where the 2x4 inside is. In this case, I'm mounting it to a 2x4. Or if you have floor joists, whatever you have in your particular house, you have one. Uh, it looks at, again, in my case, it is a... Uh, essentially a wall joist here. So I already drilled out through that one. Got the wire poking out there if you can see it. Uh, so we're kind of ready to go. I might have to push that back in so we don't uh, cut the wire when we're uh, cutting here with our oscillating tool. So when it comes to this one, let's get this out of the box here and we'll start installing it. Okay, well this is what's included in the uh, kit here. We got our siding adapter. We got our electrical box. Uh, again, you do need to provide the outlet or switch or whatever you're putting in your one. And then of course we got the cover. And then along with the cover, when you got different uh, templates, depending on what you're installing. In our case, Evan, we're installing just a regular outlet here. So we're going to be using that one. You also have, this is probably for like a 220, I'm guessing, just a round. And then this is the uh, square one, again, for, you know, switches and or if you're installing a GFCI one, which again, if you don't already have a GFCI, either breaker or some sort of protection, Evan, you need to make sure this is GFCI protected. And, and like I said, again, in my case, Evan, I have my GFCI further on down the line. So just a regular outlet is what we're going to be installing here today. Now, if we're installing this, everyone, they say put this up to the siding and mark the inside. However, everyone, that doesn't actually really give you something to uh, cut to because this box is actually wider than the inside. So, um, yeah, they really don't give you a template for it. So just pretty much estimate. That's what I did on the first one there and it seemed like it turned out pretty good. I mean, you got, what do you got? You put a good three quarters of an inch to uh, mess with there, everyone. So, you know, if you overcut a little bit, which, by the way, with siding is typically a good thing anyway. So you shouldn't have to worry about it. Okay, we got that all uh, cut up. Yeah, cutting through a lot of wood right there. Uh, anyway, now we need to finish cutting the vinyl siding out here, just a little bit more of them, so this will fit inside there. Uh, this is just a little bit wide. I don't know if you can see it there, especially on the sides. The top and bottom aren't so much of them. In fact, this will probably work for the top and bottom. I'll probably still cut out just a little bit more, so just so we don't have you know to worry about it. But then on the sides, we need like another, uh, I think it's like another half inch or so of one on either side here, then we should be good. Okay, when lining this up here, looks like it should fit in there, no problem. Now this happens to be a one piece design. Uh, sometimes, or a lot of times, when you get pieces like this, they'll come in uh, two pieces so you can uh, work them in. Uh, not so much for this one here. This one's not, uh, I would say, the easiest to get in there. Uh, what I'm gonna do, Evan, and this is where that tool I mentioned earlier comes in handy. We're gonna take the siding apart 
I think it might even have to take it all the way up part up here. Uh, this particular sign, it's two pieces, is, or two sections is one piece. So one piece here, there's one piece here, and then one piece there. And we're gonna slide it up and kind of work it in there, right? Okay, everyone, we got that uh, mounted. I ended up uh, using screws on here. I bought both screws and nails out here, everyone. Figured the screws would be a little easier here, just trying to swing a heel hammer with all this stuff flopping around. And uh, by the way, like I mentioned, I did end up undoing this piece here as well. That gives you more flexibility with this piece. Now, everyone, the fun part is, and I might have to uh, take it out of the nails up here yet so we can slide it down in there and then we'll slot it back in the nails. A lot of times with a vinyl side, everyone, if you work it just right, you can usually unhook it from the nail. For some reason, I couldn't get it off that one. Uh, I don't know, just maybe proximity to the edge there. Speaking of the edge, I got that one nailed in off the tight. Uh, for those of you who don't know, when you put the vinyl siding back on them, and usually you leave it quite loose, uh, just so you have an expansion and contraction with the vinyl siding here, and a little bit of play back and forth as well. Okay, well, we've got the signing all put back together, and you may notice there's actually two wires shoving. That's because I plan on having another wire that's going to feed a outlet up on the soffit here. That's not going to be part of this uh, video here, by the way. So we got a line that's coming in here, everyone, and then the line going out as well. So anyway, now that we got that on, we're ready to put the box in here, everyone. We'll run the wires into the box and uh, tighten this down. And uh, when you tighten this box down, I mean, it has four, turn this around here, has four screws here that tighten in along the side there.
Okay, there we go, everyone. All installed. Uh, one thing I want to note, and I'm probably going to see if I can get some additional screws, everyone, but the holes up here, top and bottom, are open yet. Uh, see if I can get some uh, screws to uh, fill those in. I got the same thing on the back of the house there as well. Like I said, let's see if I can get some more screws to uh, fill those in. Uh, and then again, also, one note, Evan, as you've probably seen when I was installing this here, the uh, back of this box isn't exactly sealed here, Evan, especially with the fact that you got this kind of open here and around the outlet here isn't exactly sealed either. I mean, it's not exactly open, everyone, but not an airtight seal by any means. So again, in my case, I'm gonna be spray foaming this behind here. So I'll have a, like, should be like perfect seal, right, everyone? So again, if you're uh, putting this in your house, everyone, you're probably gonna to want to seal behind it here. Just uh, wanted to make note of that. So anyway, there we go, Evan. This is installed, and I think it looks uh, pretty nice, Evan. Uh, not sure about the color with the siding, maybe, but hey, it's nice and recessed in there, everyone. Looks good, spring-loaded cover there. Yeah. I like it. I, mean, I like it. So anyway, you folks have any comments or questions about this, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time. Oh, I just noticed as I was recording, I forgot to uh, latch that on. I'll get that in a minute here. Much better.